Hi everyone, we're gonna take a look at bubble 13. So less than 13, bubble 13, and this is gonna tell uh, whether or not our mouse moved or not. So we can also use Boolean expressions. So Boolean is that conditional, that if statement to check whether or not a mouse has moved. The mouse did move black will return false if the mouse is still, but true if the mouse has been moving. So right now, they want us to use this program that just displays a salt, salt shaker sprite. So if I run this, let's see, there's just my salt shaker. You'll need to use the mouse did move black so that you can shake the salt by moving the mouse back and forth. What this is going to do is we're going to create a conditional that checks if the mouse moved. If it did move, if, meaning if it's true, we're going to rotate the salt sprite randomly to the left or right. Then the challenge, you can keep, um, keep adding to this bubble by seeing if you can also keep track of how many times the mouse shakes. So a lot like um, we did in bubble 12. Once we keep track of how much the salt shaker shakes, we're gonna rotate it right side up after 100 shakes. So that's gonna be our challenge right now. Um, we're gonna take a look at our code here. We've created a variable called salt. So that's our salt shaker, it's called the salt shakers. If you want, you can always go back and change this animation um, later on. And we have it rotated at 150 degrees. Um, so it's kind of at an angle, which is what we want. Next, um, our code also takes a look at um, drawing out our salt shaker. So this background is sky blue. It's going to draw it. And this underneath the gray area, they'd like us to then put our if statement. So let's go ahead and go to controls. And we're going to create an if statement to see if the salt shaker did move. So I'm just going to grab my if. We don't need an if else. Um, and it's going to look at the mouse did move. And that's going to be under world. So mouse did move. I'm just going to grab that and drag that in there. So if the mouse did move, we are going to rotate our salt shaker um, in a random number. So it kind of shakes. Remember, the random allows it to kind of rotate and shake. We use rotation because it's just moving um, clockwise and counterclockwise, like the gears. So let's go ahead and go to variables. I'm going to grab um, assign a variable here. We are talking about salt rotation. So I'm going to grab sprites and go to rotation because rotation is what's going to make it move um, clockwise or counterclockwise. And the name of my sprite is called salt, because that's the variable name. And I'm gonna pick a random number now. So it's gonna rotate in a random type number. So I need random number. My lowest, I'm gonna try 130. Well, let's try 120 and maybe 200 and see what happens. I am going to reset and run. So let's see, if my mouse gets close to it, See how it shakes? I can make it do less shaking, uh, maybe not such big rotations. I can make this random number smaller. So instead of between 122 and 200, or sorry, 120 and 200, I can make it 130 and 170. So it's only really going 40 pixel or 40 degrees in rotation. So it's a smaller shake. Awesome. So then they asked us to do the challenge where can we keep track of how many times our mouse moved? So to keep track, uh, we are going to then add a variable that keeps track of how many times it moves. So I'm going to create a variable. And I'm going to um, variable x here. I'm going to name my variable and I can put, um, I can say count. You, this can be any name you want. I'm going to do count. Oops. Number shakes. So how many times it shakes. 
and it's going to be zero. It's going to start at zero because that's what it needs to start at. I am then going to do some output. So um, I need to do two things. I need to um, output a number. So I'm going to do text, which is under drawing. I'm going to make my text size here. I'm going to put it underneath my drawing of the salt shaker. I'm going to make that 50. And I am going to pick text here if I can find it. Um, text. So um, it's taking whatever the value is. So instead of the word text, I'm calling upon my variable, which is count number shapes. And I got to get rid of the quotation marks. So I'm calling upon my variable that's counting the number. Count number shapes. You can call this anything you want. And I'm going to set it on my stage at 160 and 310. Okay, so I'm going to run this and see what happens. Awesome. So it shows my number. Ooh, but it's not counting because it doesn't look like in my code I have a counter where it's every time it shakes, it's adding one to this value. So I got to go back to my code. And I am going to do a count. So I need a variable. I'm going to assign a variable and I'm going to put that in the if statement here. And I'm going to say, I want to add one to every time it shakes. So I use my variable called count number shapes. So count number of shapes, shapes. And I'm going to add one to that number every time it actually does shake. So I need the add operator. And I'm adding it to the current value. So I need the count number shakes. And I'm adding one. So basically that says first it's zero. Um, it checks to see if it sh was shaking. If it is, it's going to add one to that value. So now if it's zero, it's going to add one. It now becomes one. And then it draws the sprite. It outputs the value one. And then it runs back through the program. So now count number six is one. It draws the blue sky. Um, it checks to see if my mouse did move. Um, if it did, it's going to kind of shake my salt shaker. It's now going to add a one to the current value of count number which is now one. So it does one plus one, which equals two. It's gonna draw my salt shaker. It's gonna output the number two. So it does that really quickly. And look, every time I get my mouse is shaking, it adds that. Wow, awesome. All right, so it looks like I'm missing one more thing. They wanted me to, in the challenge area, not only keep track of how many times the salt shakes, but then once it gets past 100, it wants me to right side up my salt shaker. So I'm going to go to my code. For this, I don't need to create a new sprite. I just need to rotate my salt shaker at some point. Um, so that way it's completely up or standing up. So I'm going to have another if statement. So another check. So it's saying, if my salt shaker count is greater than or equal to 100, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it above the draw sprite. And this is where it's counting. So I need a math, and I need, what did it say, greater than or equal to 100? Yep, after 100. So I could say greater than 100. Um, so if it is greater than 100... So I need a greater than sign. I'm going to now um, check the count number of shakes. So I need to type in count number 
shapes. And if it's all over 100, I'm going to rotate um, my salt shaker. So I'm going to go to variables. I'm going to go to assign that. I'm going to call upon my rotation of my Sprite. So that goes in the first bubble. Um, again, my Sprite is called salt. And I'm going to rotate it to zero, meaning it's going to be straight up, hopefully. So again, what this program does is creates a Sprite. It also has a count how many times it shakes. Then uh, it's going to draw the blue background. It's going to check if my mouse moved. If it did, it's going to shake it. Then it's going to add one to the number of times it shook. Um, and it's going to check if I went over 100, it's going to flip it up. So, and then draw, draw everything and then output the number of what, how many times it has shook. So, reset, run. Shake, 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 shake. Let's see if it gets to 100. There, it flips it right side up. That's where my rotation is. And that is bubble 13. If you get done early and you've got time, you can either help a neighbor or I would go back and see if you can play around with the animation. I prefer you guys not move on to less than 14 because we're going to start thinking about our own um, app or our own game. And I want to kind of work on that as a group. So try to finish up lesson 13 and make some changes, play around the animations, and um, have a great weekend.